Hey, Kerry Russell here from the blog mechanic.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix RSS feed errors that may occur on your WordPress website. So right now, I'm working with a client who is a member of my website care plans. And basically, she wants to set up a blog broadcast within Aweber. But unfortunately, her RSS feed is not working. So of course, the first steps we take to troubleshoot the issue is to contact Aweber. Aweber will then confirm validation and if there's errors, they'll likely tell you to go and talk to your web host. Now, chances are when you speak to your web host, there's not really much they can do to help you because RSS errors usually occur through bad coding, either caused by themes or plugins or just bad formatting of blog content. Now, in my client's case, that was the problem. But the thing is, if you've never dealt with RSS errors before, um, finding out what the error is and then actually fixing it can be quite challenging and time consuming. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you some simple tools that I use to fix my client's problem. Um, and, you know, if you have similar issues, it's likely going to be that the RSS bad formatting is caused by uh, bad coding on your website. So... Of course, the first thing I did was speak to the web host. There's nothing they could do, so they came back to me. Now, my next steps were to deactivate all plugins on the client site, and that didn't resolve the issue. So if you deactivate the plugins on your site and it doesn't resolve the issue, the next thing you want to do is switch to a default WordPress theme, and then, of course, test the RSS feed again. Now, if deactivating plugins and switching themes still doesn't resolve the issue, you want to go to a website at feedvalidator.org and then simply just enter the feed URL, so the RSS URL, into the input field towards the top of the screen. Click validate and as you can see on my screen, that's then going to bring you up a list of errors. Now, from the results I'm seeing, the very top one, it says this feed does not validate. So basically, this top one is the problem that's causing the client's feed not to validate, which means we can't go ahead and set up the blog broadcast in Aweber. Now, to find the problem, you want to click where it says line whatever number it may be. So if I click this, it's going to take me directly to the bad code that's causing the RSS feed not to validate. Just let me scroll down a little bit. And we can see the line is highlighted here. Now straight away, the problem is bad coding on the blog post. This line here, for starters, there's no text in between there, and there's only one closing span HTML markup, okay? So basically, it's bad code. So what we want to do is find this code on the blog where the RSS validation problem is occurring, and then, of course, we want to fix it. Um, before I go any further, in a new window, I have opened the client's feed, and as you can see, it's only pulling in two blog posts. Now, the client has hundreds of blog posts on her website, so straight away, we know it's not right anyway. So go back to the feed tool. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to copy this. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm on a Mac, so Command and C. I'm then going to go to the client's website, which is here, and using a search widget, I'm just going to enter the code I've just copied, and hopefully it'll take us straight to the post where that problem is occurring. 
Okay, so we've been taken to a post. So I'm going to click through to the single post page. So I can then edit the post. So I'll edit the post at the top. And then from here, I'm going to do a content search by selecting Command and F, and it's going to bring up a search box. If you're on a Windows, it would just be Control and F. So let me delete what's already in there. Okay, and then I'm simply going to paste the code in again. The one I copied. That should take us to the problem. You may have to do a little bit of digging. So let's go back a page. Okay, if you don't find it straight away, just try copying some of the code. In fact, we won't copy the code, we'll copy the text. Copy a sentence of the text. Copy. We'll go back to the website again, go back to the search bar. Okay, so it's taken us to the same post, so we know the problem is in this post. We basically need to find the line of text. So let's edit the post. And let's enter just the words this time. Paste. There we go. So now that we've found the text, we can go to text view. Okay, let's re-enter it in here. Command and paste. And there's the line of text. So straight away, we can see this funny symbol here. And we can also see the span tag that I was talking about at the very beginning of the video. So what's happening in my client's case is it's just bad formatting on the blog post and that's all it takes, one blog post, to break your RSS feed. So all I'm going to do is remove this empty spam tag, okay, just to the paragraph tag. And then I'm simply going to make sure there's no additional spaces at the end of the sentence. And I shall update the blog post. Now this should resolve the problem. So first things first, let's go to the client's feed and refresh the page. So at the moment we only have two feeds there. Refresh the page, voila. And we can now see the full feed. So if we go to the feed validator tab, scroll back to the top, and we'll run the URL through the validator again. So just click validate. Boom. Congratulations, this is a valid RSS feed. So if you do find yourself in a position where your RSS feed is broken and you need to use it, whether that be for feed burner or to set up a blog broadcast within your autoresponder service, first of all, speak to your autoresponder provider. They'll likely tell you to talk to your web host, see if there's anything they can do. If not, you need to troubleshoot the issue. So step one, you need to deactivate all your plugins and check your feed. If your feed works, once the plugins are deactivated, then of course you need to activate them one by one until you find the problem plugin. If that fails to resolve the issue, switch your theme to the WordPress default theme and then test your RSS feed again. If it still doesn't fix the issue, then the problem is going to be code on your website, okay? Um, sometimes it'll be a PHP file code and sometimes it will just be a, a blog formatting problem. Um, nine times out of 10, it'll likely be the blog formatting problem, which I've just showed you how to resolve in this video, okay? So if you're watching this video on my YouTube channel right now, then please do subscribe. And if you do need help with small fixes and WordPress jobs, then get in touch um, because I can save you time. I can save you stress by doing all the, all the technical nitty gritty bits for you. Okay, ciao for now.